All right, we're in second to last episode with the last gym and of course Seroline Cave, the infamous one. If you haven't checked out the last episodes, please check the link in the description down below. I'm gonna put it there. So we start off with getting the life orb from Koga by showing him the Aerodactyl. Don't worry, I'm not using Aerodactyl in the game. In battle, I mean. So, we're gonna go straight into Cedarin Cave. I skipped two mini bosses because they are pretty long and lame. There's nothing important about that. Uh, so, we're gonna lead off with Ivysaur. I know there's gonna be the Sun because he does have Archer, he does have a Ninetail. So, I'm gonna lead off with Ivysaur and Sleep Powder the Ninetails. Uh, we're gonna fish for the three turn of sleep as we knocked it out by three Sludge Bumps, sludge bumps and that's very good. Uh, next up is gonna go into the Houndoom. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my Sylvine and uh, actually sack it. Because, you know, if I like sleep powder there, I, I think I only hit like twice. Uh, sleep twice and I'm gonna die. So, I'm, I, I know, I knew what I was doing. So, I'm gonna sack my Sylvine right there. Now, I'm gonna go back into Ivy. So, and now I sleep powder because now we are gonna get the favorable scenario which is like sludge bomb into another sludge bomb and actually killed the houndoom so it, it didn't kill before if i didn't sack the survive it's a movie I already say that it's a movie so he's gonna go into executor next and got executed by a sludge bomb with a crit of course now he's gonna go into lando and right here, I do have Hidden Power Ice, but Hidden Power Ice doesn't kill Landris from 4. So I'm gonna, just going to go into my Tangela first, uh, get some uh, status off with the Sun Spore, and of course, some damage with uh, Giga Drain, so that I can knock it out with Hidden Power Ice if necessary. Uh, he's going to get paralyzed right there, which is pretty helpful, as now I can go ahead and go back into my Ivysaur as get paralyzed again. Again, that best case scenario. I know I knew it happened, so it had to be like that. So he actually saw the hidden power eyes and he thought I'm gonna go for it. But I went for Slush Ball to predict the Sunflora and Sunflora is dead. Now it's gonna be uh, like obli ob obligate to go into Lando and now I'm gonna hit him power eyes and kill him. So Ivysaur did tons of work there. It actually killed all of the Pokemon. Does it? Yeah, it actually did. Now, Ariana, that's fine. It's gonna lead off with Porygon 2 as we gonna go for the Sleep Powder. Ideally, gonna get 3 turns sleep, of course. Uh, this does not matter much though. Because, uh, you know, I, I just some need some damage off with Giga Chain. So that is 3 Giga Chains in total, which brought it down to about. 30% uh, HP. Now I'm gonna go for the Trick Room and kill me with the Ice Beam, that's fine. We're gonna go into Lilip here and proceed to click the Mirror Code and kill the Polygon too, which we would be able to kill anyway without 3 turns sleep. I, I feel like 1 turn, 2 turns is enough. So we're gonna go into Nuzleaf here to tank the Dark Pulse from the Hoopa. We're gonna fake out and the Trick Room is over. Now I can Foul Play and kill it. Uh, with a crit, I don't think I think the roll is a roll to kill the Hoopa. That's why he stayed in. If he saw the kill immediately, he's gonna switch. Uh, she, not he. So she's gonna go into Mega Mawad next, and I decided to sack my Nuzleep. So now I can go into my Tangela and proceed to hit and power fire this thing. It does look like a two-ish KO. It does look like it, but I mean, if it kills. She's gonna switch, right? Yeah, she, she did switch into Sulk, which we managed to paralyze. And now the Sulk is gonna go for the superpower. And it it had contrary, so it's gonna gain some attack and defense. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna go into my Grovile uh, with Focus Sash. I'm at one health. I'm gonna Endeavor. The Sulk is now at one health. It doesn't matter if you use superpower or not, because now at one health, you're gonna die to anything. I'm go into my Tangela and finish up with another Giga Drain. Last up was the Mega Mawa, which we did kill with a Hidden Power Fire. So, Ariana and Archer out of the way. This con this is considered one of the like harder fight in the game because it's a tag battle. You have like single, double, and tag. 
I, I feel like double is usually like the easiest, but it's it's kind of headache, like cause like the most headache. So that's 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 just me. Single sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's easy. So we're gonna step into the double battle right here with some headache. Well, of course, that was I said right. Uh, we have Lance though. It's not branded. I mean, he's not stupid. Uh, he does make some questionable like play, but you know. In general, he's pretty useful and he carries me. So right here, we're gonna start with Servine and Dragapult. Uh, as the Dragapult set up a light screen, I'm gonna glare the Del Fox. It does have Magic Guard and uh, Mind Blow and Expanding Force, so that's gonna be something I uh, have to watch out. Well, not watch out because we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die anyway. So Dragapult is at one HP. It seems it's gonna win for the Dragon Dart. As it goes for another glare on the spirit tomb, now both of them is paralyzed. The Delphos is gonna go for the mind blown and killed everyone on my side. The spirit tomb is still alive, but our next two Pokemon, Roselia and Dialga, was able to knock out both Delphos and Spirit Tomb with uh, Dragon Pulse and Giga Drain respectively. So uh, he's gonna send out Mewtwo and Genesect. Le uh, yes, Genesect. Uh, so now, the Mega Mewtwo Y appearing with the Expanding Force, my Rosalia went down with just one hit, just like that, just snap it, it died. So, the Genesex is gonna go for the Ice Beam, the Dyer go for the Dragon Pulse on the Mega Mewtwo Y, and this is when it gets uh, very interesting. Here's my Gorobao, it's gonna tank the Expanding Force with for the Focus Sash, of course. I'm gonna endeavor the Genesex. And now, the Gen 6 is going for Ice Beam on the Dialga. So, my Grova is actually living. He's actually living this. I'm gonna go for the Leaf Blade and kill the Mewtwo because uh, it's at the range of that. I, I don't need to kill the Gen 6 because it's gonna go for the Ice Beam against the Dialga because it saw the kill. And the Dialga is actually like practical, practically more dangerous. But I'm at 1 HP. I'm a Grova. I have endeavored. So, you should respect me. So, right here. He's gonna send out the Silvalai. Looks like Silvalai Fairy, judging by that color. I'm, I'm, I'm just lost. So I'm gonna kill uh, lost, like not lost, lose, but lost. <laughs> He's gonna kill the uh, Genesect back there. And now we're gonna endeavor the Moltres with the help of Unburden. I was be able to be faster than the Moltres. And uh, the Salamence is gonna go for the double edge on the Sivalite, and uh, Sivalites, I believe, now die to another double edge. So that's something. Uh, the Salamence got paralyzed, although, so that's, uh, I guess, that's just unfortunate. Now the Sivalite is gonna go for the multi attack because finally he saw me as a threat, but that's too late. The Salamence is gonna break out here through the paralyzed and double edge and kill the Sivalite. So Lance carried us, as always, and my Grobal. So good. So, with that out of the way, now we're gonna step in and do the last gym before the like, big final episode, I guess. So Claire here, she's gonna lead with Shockle. I figured there's no way I could prevent like both hazards with uh, Stealth Rock and Sticky Web because Rapid Spin is like doesn't work here because there's a field effect. Yeah, there's a field effect that prevents you from removing hazard. Claire is tricky. So I'm gonna go for Sleep Powder and uh, Geodrin and the red card is gonna force me out into the Tangela. That doesn't matter though, it's gonna sleep for 3 turns. I'm just gonna Geodrin here again as she set up a Sticky Web. And that's actually better. I, I would much rather have a Sticky Web than the Stealth Rock because I do have a Focus Sash. Scepter? No, not Scepter, Grovile. <laughs> okay, so now the Shuckle is gonna die to another Giga Drain. And she's gonna go into the Giratina. And with this Giratina is pretty scary, you know. You're gonna go into Feral Seed and uh, take took the uh, Dragon Hammer right there. Pretty handy. Do some damage with Rough Skin. And now I'm gonna switch out into Tangela on the Spirit's Spirit Lock. Yep, the Ghost type move. What's that? That's like uh, Anger Shot, but this Ghost type? Spirit Shackle, yeah, Spirit Shackle. So. We're gonna paralyze both of us here. Uh, the other one used Thunder Wave, I used Thunder Spore. So, we're gonna stay in and get some damage on uh, 
Giratina with Gertrude. It's not like I have any chance. Spirit Block already locked me. So we're gonna go into Serve right here. To proceed to go for the Leech. And uh, she's gonna get paralyzed. Uh, that's that's pretty good because I'm specially defensive, so I should be able to. Well, doesn't matter, special defensive. I'm just like uh, a bit bulky than usual because I'm a servine. So we just need to fish for like one paralyzed per two turns, and that should be good. And now the Giratina is very low thanks to what we just talked about. Now we're gonna go for the Gear Drain again. Uh, she's gonna go for Thunder Wave and misses. Although, although. Although I don't think that miss mattered because I'm gonna stay in anyway and went for the leech on the Magina. It's gonna go for the ship here. Well, I guess it mattered in the case that uh, I could get paralyzed, you know. But I'm still at full health and that's all that matters. I'm gonna go into my Lilip right there, took the Moonblast uh, like nothing, and uh, proceed to recover with leech. And now she's gonna go for another Moonblast. I'm gonna recover. That's okay, doesn't matter. Leech is gonna get us back. Here, I'm gonna use the mirror code, I believe. Yeah, I use mirror code, and the Megiddo is dead, so that's no turning back. Now, she's gonna send out the Duraludon. I know I have like a shot at tanking a steel beam, I, I think steel beam, right? Or Draco Meteor, a steel beam with uh, Servine, and I could mirror code to kill it. So that's why I did, like I try to keep my Servine to full HP, but that's like RNG just anyway. So we're gonna go into Servine and uh, proceed to click Mirror Code, and this Steel Beam is almost gonna knock it out, knock us out, and uh, we stayed alive at 9 HP, and that's enough to Mirror Code kill him. Uh, incoming Necrozma. So Necrozma here, it's pretty confusing, you know. Uh, I, I, I guess I sacked my uh, Servine because I do have Glare, uh, but he, he, he's not scared of that. So uh, he's just gonna Mega, not Mega Evolve, it's just changed form to the, the other Necrozma and now went for the Photon guys and killed me immediately. Well, fortunately, we still do have a Grova with Focus Sash intact, and now we just need to Endeavor and uh, Quick Attack. I mean, that's Sticky Web. It did matter, but I do have quick attack, so we managed to get through the door there with quick attack instead of leaf blade, because we would be slower. Now with unburdened health, I want to be able to endeavor this Eternatus because I'm indeed faster. Uh, she's gonna go for Dynamax Cannon, knock me out. Now I just can just go into uh, Lilith, tank one hit, and knock her out. So that's the last gym. Uh, one episode left, and uh, I thank you all, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.